Hey guys, hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon and Nay Rob on YouTube. For all t-shirt and sweatshirt inquiries, go to zenthoughtbrand.bigcartel.com. Now, let's talk about the fool of friggin' injury. But I married you to keep you in the country. I never married you because I was happily married. You're from London. I married you because we had a baby on the way and I had to do whatever I had to do so that I'm not traveling all the way to London just to spend quality time with my baby. Like, bro, we got married and it was like seven people there. You know that I married her to keep her in the country. Well, if it's true, you the dumb dumb for doing it. People.com reports. People can exclusively reveal that Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris is joining the cast of Chicago on Broadway for an eight-week run beginning this January. The hit musical, which recently celebrated its 21st anniversary on the Great White Way, will welcome Grammy Award-winning Candy Burris as she makes her Broadway debut from January 15th to March 11th at the Ambassador Theater. The Escape Singer will play matron Mama Morton. And now we see why this hussy ain't got time to be making no music with Escape. And now we see why this foursome is now a threesome, not because they stressing her out, but because she want to go over there with Broadway and play Mama Morton and get a certified check. That's what she want to do. She don't want to go over there with Escape and the rest of these hussies that be getting on her nerves. Like, Tiny, you all right, girl. You all right. But, you know, my bottom line is money. And, you know, my husband's a Leo. You know, my husband, Leo, he'll step on top of his mama to get through some When cash. Candy Burris revealed that she would tour with her Escape group members but refused to record new music with them, fans were a bit disappointed. But the group members still hit the studio as promised and began working on new music and even hired new management. According to reports, the quartet-turned-trio has hired Tamar Braxton's soon-to-be ex-husband, Vincent Herbert, as their new manager. Tamika Tani Harris told Hip Hollywood that she and her group members are excited to work with the famed manager. We loved what he did with Tamar and Lady Gaga, and we also knew he understood the business, she said. We sat down with him, had some food, and just talked. Like how most business takes place, he just got our vision, and he saw the potential in us. Ciao. Bang. Tiny and Tamar are like this. And I'm sure... That Tiny knows that Tamar and Vince are in a financial bind. And Vince needs every coin that he can get right now. Okay, so let me break this down to you. Something that I learned in my baby mama travels, right? So y'all know my BFF is a cancer. You know Tiny is a cancer. Tamar is a Pisces. You know that them daggone water signs all think alike. And one thing that I learned along the way from my BFF, who is a cancer, she told me that she makes sure that her baby father got a job. I said, why are you looking out for this ninja? She said, because if he got money, then that means my child support will always be paid. Ding! Bravo.com reported, Kenya Moore finally explained that reassignment surgery comment she hurled at Kim Zosiak during an explosive Real Housewives of Atlanta argument when she appeared on Watch What Happens Live Sunday night. The ladies were at Nene Leake's party when Kim began taunting Kenya about her marriage. Why do you have so much of a hard on for me? Didn't they cut it off during your reassignment surgery? Kenya fired back at Kim. The comment sparked immediate backlash among the LGBTQ community. I just think initially I was just going after Kim. Kenya explained to Andy Cohen, I was just throwing the kitchen sink at her. I was just incensed by her remarks towards me and her hatred 
So I was trying to offend Kim, but definitely didn't mean to offend anyone else. I can see why someone would be offended by that. When Cohen asked if she regretted the comment, Kenya said, oh yeah, I never want to offend anybody. Oh, this is when my community just gets on my nerves. I now listen, as a human being, I'm not a super sensitive or hypersensitive person. I have my moments where I can get a bit emotional, but that not so much so where my earth shakes if somebody says something. I mean, I mean, trust me, if I was in Kenya Moore's place, I would have said the same friggin' thing to her. Or I would have probably just said, go somewhere and eat a dick. On to better news. BET.com reports. Industry on Blast reported the news today, stating that 46-year-old is currently expecting her first child with her husband, Mark Daly. The reality star is said to be rejoicing in her pregnancy news, but is allegedly holding out on announcing to the public for a few months when she is in her safe zone as she and her husband have been trying to actively conceive. The site reports that Moore spent some time in Barbados two weeks ago doing IVF treatments with special doctors with Daly flying down to be with her during the process. While the news is yet to be confirmed by the star herself, if it is, we wish her all the best and will keep our fingers crossed that the news turns out to be true. VH1.com reported, Ray J is about to spread his TV star wings as a co-host on this daytime talk show. The reality star posted an Instagram photo of himself standing with the four staple hosts of The Real announcing the good news. Looks like I got a job. Stay tuned. Hashtag The Real with Ray J. Hashtag Telepictures. Hashtag Daytime TV. He writes in the caption. Now we know since the show parted ways with former host Tamar Braxton, the producers have been shaking things up by inviting celebrities like Monica, Tina Knowles, Eve, and Evelyn Lozada to fill in as guest co-hosts. That could very well be the case here, but the nature of Ray J's announcement makes it seem like this could be a bit more permanent. Just after Thanksgiving, Ray J was a guest on the show where he chose to share that he and his wife, Princess, are expecting. Apparently, folks at the show enjoyed him so much, they invited him back to try his luck in host in the host chair. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here now? News. Don't them girls up on that platform know that Ray J was down here at the W Hotel smoking PCP and they had to put his ass the hell out because he was around there in that lobby walking around butt naked lunching off that dipper? Don't they know that? Don't they know that he was basically Whitney Houston's young piece of meat slash drug mule? Don't she know that? Don't they know that? That basically what he was doing for Whitney Houston was laying in her bed, and then when he got up out of the bed, went to go get her drugs and to bring the drugs back to the bed. Don't they know that Ray J is a known drug user? On top of that, he's a wannabe gangbanger. Them girls ain't going to be happy till the peoples come through, till he pissed the wrong real gang member off, and they run up in there with them things. Pow, pow, pow! Guys, I always just want to... Give you all a special thanks for supporting me. You know, YouTube moves in cycles, you know. If you notice that the same YouTubers that you watched two years ago are not the same YouTubers that you're watching now. And believe it or not, you'll eventually move on from me. And I get a whole new lot of people, you know. Or unless YouTube piss me off so bad that I want to throw all his shits in the trash because YouTube be lunching with the monetization like I'm some type of daggone, 
I ain't even going to say it around here trying to, you know, make some moves. And that's not my judge. That's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to make some money and retire early. But anyway, back to what I was trying to say. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you to my Patreons. Again, if you're one of my Patreons, please be sure to send me a message and let me know whether or not you want me to give you a shout out. Okay? Now, I may be black. I may be poor. I might even be ugly. But goddammit, I'm here. Deuce, you guys. <laughs>